The molecular structure of psilocybin, a naturally occurring psychedelic compound found in magic mushrooms, allows it to penetrate the central nervous system and the scientific and medical experts are just beginning to understand its effects on the brain and mind and its potential as therapeutics for mental illnesses. In this video we will discover the benefits of MICRO dosing for mental health and as a substitute of synthetic medication. Previous studies by Johns Hopkins Medicine researchers showed that psychedelic treatment with psilocybin relieved major depressive disorder symptoms in adults for up to a month. Now, in a follow-up study of those participants, the researchers report that the substantial antidepressant effects of psilocybin-assisted therapy, given with supportive psychotherapy, may last at least a year for some patients. This is a promising therapeutic approach that can lead to significant and durable improvements in depression, anxiety, and other mental health problems such as ADHD. Over the last 20 years, there has been a growing of research with classic psychedelics, the pharmacological class of compounds that include psilocybin, an ingredient found in so-called magic mushrooms. According to the National Institute on Drug Abuse, psilocybin can produce perceptual changes, altering a person's awareness of their surroundings and of their thoughts and feelings. Treatment with psilocybin has shown promise in research settings for treating a range of mental health disorders and addictions. The researchers recruited 27 participants with a long-term history of depression, most of whom had been experiencing depressive symptoms for approximately two years before recruitment. The average age of participants was 40, 88% of the participants had previously been treated with standard antidepressant medications, and 58% reported using antidepressants in their current depressive episodes. After screening, participants were randomized into one of two groups in which they received the intervention either immediately, or after an eight-week waiting period. At the time of treatment, all participants were provided with six to eight hours of preparatory meetings with two treatment facilitators. Following preparation, participants received two doses of psilocybin, given approximately two weeks apart between August 2017 and April 2019 at the Behavioral Biology Research Center at Johns Hopkins Bayview Medical Center. Participants returned for follow-up one day and one week after each session, and then at 1, 3, 6, and 12 months following the second session, 24 participants completed both psilocybin sessions and all follow-up assessment visits. The researchers reported that psilocybin treatment in both groups produced large decreases in depression, and that depression severity remained low 1, 3, 6, and 12 months after treatment. How does psilocybin-assisted psychotherapy work? Our past and current life experiences and the meaning we make from them can give rise to negative and overwhelming psychological, emotional, and physical symptoms. Factors such as trauma, loss, discrimination, poverty, and other negative life experiences can shape our perception of ourselves and the world, including how we react and respond to life's challenges and our ability to navigate our emotions. These perceptions can become habitual patterns and cycles that contribute to suffering. Individuals who seek psilocybin-assisted psychotherapy often struggle with lifelong or treatment-resistant depression and anxiety. They have tried other forms of therapy and are still in need of relief from their debilitating symptoms. Psilocybin can help break out of self-destructive patterns and reconnect with a sense of purpose, passion, and creativity in life. Psilocybin-induced neuroplasticity in the treatment of major mental health issues, psilocybin is a serotonergic psychedelic with untapped therapeutic potential. There are hints that the use of psychedelics can produce neural adaptations, although the extent and timescale of the impact in the brain are unknown. A single dose of psilocybin led to tilde operator 10% increases in spine size and density of layer 5 pyramidal neurons in the brain medial frontal cortex. Serotonergic psychedelics are compounds that produce an atypical state of consciousness characterized by altered perception, cognition, and mood. It has long been recognized that these compounds may have therapeutic potential for neuropsychiatric disorders. This progress with research led to a breakthrough therapy designation by the United States Food and Drug Administration FDA, in 2019 and the initiation of multi-site clinical trials to test psilocybin as a treatment for major mental disorders. It is well established that structural neuroplasticity in the frontal cortex is key to the action of antidepressants. What is the current evidence that serotonergic psychedelics such as psilocybin can alter synaptic architecture? A few studies have shown that the expression of genes involved in synaptic plasticity is elevated after administration of serotonergic psychedelics meaning that a single dose of psilocybin leads to long-lasting increases in spine density and spine head width in the brain medial frontal cortex. Psychedelic spurs growth of neural connections lost in depression, a single dose of psilocybin, the active compound in magic mushrooms, given prompted a long-lasting increase in the connections between neurons. 
In a new study, Yale researchers showed that a single dose of psilocybin given to mice prompted an immediate and long-lasting increase in connections between neurons. The findings are published July 5 in the journal Neuron. We not only saw a 10% increase in the number of neuronal connections, but also they were on average about 10% larger, so the connections were stronger as well," said Yale's Alex Kwan, associate professor of psychiatry and of neuroscience and senior author of the paper. Previous laboratory experiments had shown promise that psilocybin, as well as the anesthetic ketamine, can decrease depression. The new Yale research found that these compounds increase the density of dendritic spines, small protrusions found on nerve cells which aid in the transmission of information between neurons. Chronic stress and depression are known to reduce the number of these neuronal connections. For some people, psilocybin can produce a profound mystical experience. The psychedelic was a staple of religious ceremonies among indigenous populations of the New World, but there's still social taboos about the topic due to government misinformation on the so-called war on drugs. When psilocybin is used responsibly, with respect, surrounded by the right people and environment, is a life-changing experience. What is MICRO dosing? MICRO dosing psychedelics is the practice of consuming very low, subhallucinogenic doses of a psychedelic substance, such as lysergic acid diethylamide, LSD, or psilocybin-containing mushrooms. According to media reports, MICRO dosing has grown in popularity. There has been limited reporting on adverse events associated with MICRO dosing. Improved health behaviors and reduced consumption. As a result of MICRO dosing, people have experienced improvements in mood, anxiety, meditative practice, exercise, eating habits, and sleep. They also indicated they had reduced their use of caffeine, alcohol, cannabis, tobacco, psychiatric prescription medications, and illicit substances. Thanks for watching. If this content resonates with you, please don't forget to subscribe and follow and support our growing community. Remember there is more than the eye can see, research and don't forget that the best gift is to give people your enlightenment, to share it.